Storm clouds gather over Europe. Mistrust and rivalries between realms threaten to break and flood the world in a tide of total war. Remember when you booted up Medieval 2 for the first time and you started a new game as England because they're the first highlighted faction and you wanted to check things out before you tried anything else? You built a drill square in Khan because it's available, and you didn't know any better, and that's the melee recruitment building. Of course you need those. It gives you a unit called Billman, a two-handed axe unit with 15 melee attack skill. Only three melee defense, but still, 15 melee attack on a unit this early is nothing to sneeze at. So you recruit some, you get into a battle, and then it turns now. out they're pretty tame. Hey there, I'm Alea Lex, and in this video I'm going to show you why two-handed units typically suck in vanilla medieval 2 and what you can do to change that so what is the two-handed bug according to the internet the two-handed glitch is caused by them getting interrupted during attacks by faster attacking units causing them to stagger but in my opinion these explanations are incomplete if not incorrect i spent a good couple of years trying to improve these units in some way like raising their melee attack a bit or doubling their melee defense and that helped a little bit but after a while i decided to investigate the original claim to do this, I set up a whole bunch of fights between two-handers and several other units. I watched, paying really close attention to if the animation really had anything to do with it. And in almost all the fights, I noticed the two-handers weren't really getting staggered out of attacks, like the claim said, but they were performing a very fast attack almost constantly that wasn't killing anything, but was causing a reaction, like a blood texture or a block animation. It was the only thing I really had to go on, so I looked in deskerskeleton.txt, the file that parses the animations, for an entry that seemed to fit the description of the attack and found an entry called push. That was the only one that wasn't easily identifiable at first glance, so I figured that was the animation I commented it out. The effect was an absurd jump in power level. Billmen now beat armored sergeants. Dismounted English knights could take on dismounted feudal knights and crush them. Once when I started a new game as Venice, in a heavily modded campaign, I was actually a little afraid to attack Zagreb because it had Croat Axemen in it. It didn't just improve them, but made them scary. It swung the pendulum too far in the other direction. Now one-handed units were struggling against the much, much stronger two-handed units. So I went to look at why that was, ran a few mirrored experiments, and it was obvious that it was the same thing. Every one-handed unit has the same push animation. 
usually manifesting as a shield bash. Or, for units without shields, uh, a shoulder check. It's much slower than the animation for two-handed axes. So it had a side effect where it would make weak units even weaker. It barely affected the strength of strong one-handed units, like dismounted feudal knights. But units like town militia or spear militia would suffer more because not only was their attack and defense relatively low, but they were getting even fewer attacks out, which made them seem worse than even their stats would suggest. So I removed it for them too. What resulted was a surprisingly balanced experience. Dismounted feudal knights were still good, but they didn't dominate the battlefield like before. They would now actually take casualties from a unit like town militia. Weaker units actually had some use on the battlefield. As an additional side note, the AI, the AI doesn't know how to make use of halberd units in Pikewall, and they use the two-handed sword animation set, or rather, the halberd secondary set, which it's based on. Changing that is a whole other topic of discussion when it comes to modding, but if you do decide to make the changes I suggest, keep in mind that the AI for them is very bad. I'm not one of the devs who works on Medieval 2, so I can't say whether this push animation is something that's working as intended because it seemed like it exists to extend battles, but the fact is that taking this animation out improved the experience for me by a lot. And it was pretty clear that it was the main problem with two-handed units, given the huge difference in ability between with it and without. Whether you agree with me or not, the evidence points to the push animation hurting the two-handed units' ability in battle. They get stuck in animation loops, where it just calls this animation over and over, and because the animation has no effect, they kill nothing and only lose more. That's the real two-handed bug, a non-damaging attack animation shared by every infantry unit in the game. And that is basically the long and short of it. If you want to play the game with these animations taken out, I've put a folder with all the different IDX and DAT files, along with their associated desk or skeleton files, on ModDB in the link in the description. You can download that and stick the IDX and DAT files in your animation folder, and then you're good to go. But I also made a tutorial outlining how I did it as well if you want to edit the files yourselves. So stick around if you want to see that. I'll be putting a list of the steps in the description so that you can follow those if you need to. Let's begin by going to the game's main folder. If you're editing the vanilla files, make sure your Medieval 2 config is configured to run modded files or it'll just rebuild from the packed files. Instructions for doing so down below. Next, we need to download the animation files so that the game can rebuild them with the loose files. The files are uploaded on Total War Center. I put a link in the description. Make sure you copy and paste the code they have into your game config. Unzip the contents into your data folder. Then go into your animations folder, which should now have the unzipped animations. Sort by type and find your skeleton and pack files with the extension .dat and .idx. Make a backup of all four files, and then delete them from the animations folder. Then go to your data folder, find your desk or skeleton.txt file, and back it up to the same place as your pack and skeleton files. And then open it in your preferred word processor, press Control F to open the find function, and then type in attacks to find the first attack animation section. Find the attack animation with push in the name, and then just comment it out by putting a semicolon at the beginning. If you have a find and replace function in your word processor, you can copy the line from the beginning of anim to just pass push, 
then find and replace it with the same line but with a semicolon at the front. And then just run the game and it'll rebuild the dat and IDX files in your animations folder using the entries in Desker underscore skeleton. And there you go. Improved two-handed units and arguably all units. Well, folks, I hope you found this video helpful and educational, and I hope this new knowledge makes your next campaigns more fun. Let me know if you want me to talk about the halberd issue, but otherwise, have a good one.